Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at VA Small Talk and the Olay support. And I've loaded the Olay samples, as you can see here in the load window. And what you get is a whole bunch of stuff. What I'm going to look at is the container example here. So I have this Olay Olex container example. And you can see where we're installing the support for drag drop and for key presses. And if you come up here to create shell, and I've got the hierarchy browser up so that you can see the super class support. So here we do super create cell, shut the shell title. And then up here, nothing but up here in the top, you can see create shell here. So we just drop in the OLX example here, something that we've got in VA Smalltalk. So let's go ahead and see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and do this open. And I've got this little window. So I'm going to do container or edit insert object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and get something that I know everybody will have installed in Windows, the WordPad document. So you may or may not have these other things, but this one everybody will have. That'll just drop in WordPad. So we're going to open up a new WordPad. And that doesn't look too exciting. It looks like we just spawned it. But watch this. This is a test. And we'll go ahead and close that. And there it is embedded. And you see I misspelled it. So I'll double click on it. And you're going to see that it's going to spawn the WordPad application again for me. So I can go ahead and mess with the embedded document. So there it is. So I could go ahead and edit that and put it in properly. Is Let's go ahead and close that. And there it is. So you can see you can embed things pretty easily. And I can go ahead and change the size of this. You see that I can take the embedded container and make that bigger or smaller. So I can work with things embedded directly in VA Smalltalk. And more importantly, if I know what I'm doing, I can do this in code. I don't necessarily have to use the part stuff if I don't want to. So you should look at this example get a notion of how this all hooks together, and then you can start using these kinds of examples in your own applications. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.